It's like two in the morning. I've been programming. Uh, I'm just gonna make a general uh, video um, about the whole conversation and what it, what it means to me and what's going on. Um, I, I find that right now the the internet that I know, the community and the people I'm familiar with, uh, it's all gone insane in some way or another. And some of them, you know, go insane and they go sane again. Other people seem like they're going insane and aren't really, they're just expressing themselves in new ways. And But, you know, it's partly just like knowledge, the metaphor of the Garden of Eden. You know, once you know enough, I mean, my, my belief is that Everybody is insane. And if you know someone well enough, and you might be their spouse and not know them well enough, but if you know someone well enough, you'll realize they too are insane. And this is what happens online. You just get this knowledge. Now, that's not the, the, the part that's, that's adding a tedium for me. I'm interested in insanity and it's, at the foundation of why I've been so interested for so many years online because you can get to know people at arm's distance well enough to, to see their insanity sometimes very quickly more quickly than in a neat space where people have their shields uh, prepared and they're just slowly learning them online of course they'll learn learn all their shields online too eventually but I'm interested in that, but, but the, the part, the aspect that gets tedious is when I myself become bored. Um, you know, there was a time when I would be irate at a fringe elements type person, um, but I talked to him just as a market anarchist, and when I found out all this uh, separatist stuff, you know, it's just, it doesn't make good conversation. Um, basically, you know, with that kind of thing, it, it is us versus them. It's beyond uh, reasoning. It's exactly in the area of I don't have to prove to people it's wrong to steal. They can disagree with me and I will still react to them stealing exactly the same as if it was wrong. Uh, absolutely. You know, it's, um, it's, you know, I'm mixed myself, so I can't go home to some separate home. It's inherently destructive to me to say. Um, and it's just, you know, ridiculous. But then again, I appreciate that some people still have the energy that should be combated. And there's a lot of things like that. Some of the worst things in society, uh, in terms of philosophy, have, you know, with negative impacts, I, I don't have an interest in, in fighting those battles anymore. And yet I do. It's just that it's tedious to, to talk to people with the same old mental issues expressing themselves in the same old ways and then oh don't diagnose and oh don't and it's like all this experience and oh don't use the experience somehow the experience has to be used um you know that's this idea for for the i have various ideas that go together um for the website i'm building it's a complex large multi-year project um, but the part I'm working on right now, piece by piece, I'm going to build up, you know, it has to do with tracking and scanning each other and making annotations. Um, you know, I, I want to have where you can browse uh, like a map of, of videos on a given topic. And when somebody is saying the same old Pascal's wager, somebody is saying, quoting the same old study for, you know, race and intelligence arguments and the same old thing. Whether you agree or disagree with any of these points, you can go and do fact checks and annotate and there'll be a trust network so that when people rate things, you can count certain people's votes more than others or some not at all, for example. You know, you have a trust network. So when you see the thumbs up, that'll be what all your, you know, friends did and you can browse other groups you know besides just your friends like you know what does the 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 catholic debate society think you know about that 
guy? What does this, this, this rational response squad say in its fact check notes on this guy? And, you know, I want to deal with things like what uh, Gary was saying about the tool uh, that I have, this one first tool. It could be used to quote mine. Well, part of the point is to uh, prepare for that, to, to prevent that. Um, if people use the player at the site I'm making, uh, or, you know, or, or people in their videos include a link, then you'll be able to, you know, like you publish your notes, maybe you record your notes with your cam like people do, but you still, you publish your notes and you put a link in there. People can go and see the quote, you have five second or 10 second quote, people will be able to go, well, I wanna seek back 20 seconds and see how he got there. And, uh, and of course, just, uh, you know, research that part as they will. Um, I think some people will still abuse it, but this is where, again, at, at this other site, when people have a fact check, you know, someone might have a video and someone else, you know, someone might have an evolution video and a, a young earth creationist creates a fact check link to a site, to a Kent Hovind site, you know. Well, you're going to be able to vote on that, right? So your trust network and the groups that you browse are going to vote that fact check as itself fact checked and deemed not a fact. So, a, you know, kind of a dynamic multidimensional network of opinions is, is going to form. And, and the idea is that when we have these arguments, those that want to note take and organize, and I think there's a big community here because that they could do that because you have to remember the biggest community is silent. It's just observing, you know, and then the bigger uh, commenters community than those making videos. So just these observers and they're interested and they don't even want to make a comment. Who knows if they're even rating or anything like that. They're just observing and learning on their own. Uh, the way they want to by getting information that they on demand so or opinions you know, it's all information so I think those people uh, have a lot of knowledge about the top 20 antinatalism videos they probably have a you know people are those people are focusing their energy and observing they're probably the ones that are keeping nice lists or have some bookmarks or no and would add key videos, seminal videos in these arguments, such as they might be, um, you know, to the map and, and fill out a map, those people. And then those are also the, the large group of people that then could walk around there. They don't need to see the stuff live. They could walk around the map and, and experience the conversation um, similar to someone else walking around it, but not necessarily in exactly the same order. They'll follow certain threads instead of others um, and in this way we will track everything and have opinions and have people be able to have their own trust networks and be able to browse other trust networks ratings you know we'll be able to see what the Republicans are rating um, the the fact checking on the you know API news reports um, and the idea too is that it just takes some people that want to do this those of us that get in this long enough it's just there's a level of frustration that makes you want yeah please give me a tool a database tool where i can make a database of people's opinions and the answers we've already made and you know and i think it, something like this is is really important and i wanted to cover both casual conversation where it's all just a bunch of opinion even the fact checking right up to tools that same set of tools which through a gradation allow a very you know high-tech Roberts rule of order style of creating debates you know and maybe you know maybe you have to have walked around a map before you can enter a debate antinatalism uh, that's judged and everybody's putting care into making it you know careful um, you have to have walked around this map of of the preliminary arguments you know 
and yet it's just a trust network and depending who started that debate you know maybe you don't for other debates everybody could apply their own would have the tools to apply their own uh, standards to that sort of thing and um, and yeah so for this subset of tools if that's where it's getting where we'll have a, a, a tool that can help organize structured debates with structured uh, back and forths um, where you can uh, mark a part of a video you know the judges of a debate could mark a part of video here are the parts we want you to answer in your rebuttal you know and uh, just tools like that to just tighten up the focus um, because it's way too loose and I, I just it's the freestyle jungle has been okay but there's got to be we're gonna we're gonna build a you know some sort of a city in this jungle where we can organize things with high precision uh, tools and stuff because this is just getting ridiculous so anyway